it doesn't seem like anything's biting today. I what my girlfriend Katie's up to. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. Well, that's weird. It sounds just like her. Wait a second, that is her. Is that my best friend Thomas? What are they doing? All right. Huh. Oh my gosh, you're huh. so... Uh, huh. Jerry? What are you doing here? I could... Ask you the same thing, Katie. Oh, come on, man. We're just uh, hanging out. Katie, you know? are you cheating on me with my best friend? Of course I'm cheating on you, Jerry. What the heck? Yeah, look at him. I mean, he's really handsome, and he's super rich, and he's way stronger than you altogether. You're supposed to be my best friend. How could you do this to me? Yo, dude, just chill out, okay? Come on, okay? this has been going on. Two, three, six months. Six months? You and I are broken up, and I'm going to live my life without you. Whatever, don't care. I can't stand to look at either of you right now. You're no longer welcome here. This is my boat. This is your dad's. Both. Same thing. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, loser. And I think I let her borrow this, and I think that's about it. Got my stuff, and I'm out of here. Oh, Jerry? Hey, how's it going, buddy? Hi, Jerry. What are you doing here? Well, Katie and I have broken up. I just came here to get my things. What? I can't believe this. You and Katie? Broken up? You guys are high school sweethearts. What happened? Why would you do this? Katie was cheating on me with my best friend Thomas. She would never do something like that. Yes, I agree. It was probably you that was cheating. What? You probably just needed the excuse to break up with her. You know, Katie is way too good for you. I knew it from the start, didn't I, honey? Yes, you did say You that. have no business in my house. Get out. Fine, no problem. Jerry, there you are. Hi. What do you want? I think we should get back together. I changed my mind. What? No way. What do you mean, no way? You broke my trust and my heart. Jerry, stop being so stupid. Jerry, come back. Man, Carmen, we have been so busy the past couple days. Everyone's coming in to buy that new iPhone. And you seem a bit distracted. Are you okay? Distracted? What? No, I'm totally fine. I know you better than that. What's wrong? Well, I broke up with my girlfriend, Katie, because... Yeah, babe, whatever. You can get whatever you want in here. I want the new iPhone 14. Anything for you, babe. Wow, Jerry, fancy seeing you here. Katie, you know I work here. Oh, yeah, you told me that. But I forgot because it was so boring. Yeah, super boring. Jerry, look at my new outfit that Thomas bought me. Would you ever buy anything like this for me? Probably not. I mean, look at his own clothes. This is a work uniform. Uh, yeah, whatever. Look, if you guys aren't going to buy anything, then you need to leave the store. Uh, who is this poor girl and why is she talking to me? I don't know, babe. I think she works here. You know what? You can't tell me what to do. Whoa, Katie, what is wrong with you? Being around you just makes me so All right. Both of you guys, get out. Yeah, whatever. We're out of here. Come on, babe. Let me go buy you a new Birkin bag. That was your ex-girlfriend? Yeah, and my ex-best friend, too. Oh, my gosh. I I'm so sorry. Yeah, don't worry about it. I'm not going to let them get to me. So what? You're not super rich like that guy. I mean, he's probably never worked a day in his life. I have no idea. I'm going to improve myself for my own sake, not just because we broke up. 18, 19, 20. Okay, that's a pretty good warm up. One, uh, two. Oh, man, it's a whole lot harder than I thought. Man, I'm really kind of out of shape, aren't I? Gotta start from somewhere. But, man, I feel so weak. Oh my gosh, Jerry, you're such a weak loser. Yeah, you'll never amount to anything, man. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, no, no, I'm not a weak loser. I am gonna better myself, and then we'll see who's laughing. All right, let's do some dumbbells. Get this going. Whoa, Jerry, over the past couple months, you've changed. You look really strong. Well, thanks. I've been hitting the gym almost every day and eating a whole lot healthier. I'm feeling a whole lot better too. I'm so happy for you. Thanks, Carmen. I mean, it feels good to be like refreshed like this, you know? Kind of like I'm a whole new person. You know, self-care is really important, so I'm so glad that you're taking care of yourself. Yeah, I totally agree. Well, I'm gonna get back to work. Hey, uh, Carmen, hold on a second. Yeah, what's up? Um, are you doing anything Friday night? Uh, no, I think I'm free. Oh, yeah, yeah, so am I. Uh, do you maybe want to go out to like dinner or go on a date? or something? Really? Yeah, of course. Oh, awesome. Uh, Friday night it is then. Um, do my eyes deceive me? Or did Jerry just ask that girl out? Am I just that forgettable? Is she just that much cooler than me? No, no one is. We'll see about that little date, Jerry.
This was a really good idea. Yeah, it's been so much fun. I'm having a really great time with you, Jerry. And I'm having a lot of fun with you too, Carmen. I don't think anything could go wrong tonight. Attention, Attention citizens. citizens! The fair is, is now closed. closed. Everybody leave! Now! What the heck is going on? I thought the fair was going to be open for at least another hour. Yeah, unless you're rich and can kick everyone out. <laughs> yeah, and look who it is, Thomas. The poor loser. What are you guys doing here? Well, I closed out the fair for the last hour so Katie and I could just have it to ourselves. Yeah, you would never understand because you could never afford something like this. Yeah, Thomas, real cool flexing on everyone with your family's money. Yeah, well, at least I have a rich family, stupid idiot. Carmen, let's just get out of here. And arguing with these two is- Hold on, Jerry, I got this. You two are the most terrible, materialistic people I have ever met. Jerry's the best person in the entire world. And you know what, Katie? You made such a big mistake cheating on him. Excuse yeah, me? You heard me. All right, Jerry, let's get out of here. Yeah, let's go. What did they just say, babe? Shut Jerry, can you please come to my office? Uh, yeah, of course. Is everything okay? Am I in trouble for something? No, 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 you're not in trouble. There's just somebody that I want you to meet. Okay, sure thing. Jerry, welcome. Hello. Hi. Oh, my gosh. You're <laughs> Mr. Wilson, CEO of the company. Yes, nice to meet you. Uh, Samantha, what's going on? Well, Jerry, you've been working really, really hard for this company. So much that I had to tell Mr. Wilson. Yes, I got an email from Samantha saying that there was someone down here I needed to meet, and that person is you. Oh, wow, I, uh, just kind of overwhelmed. Now, you've been doing such a good job for my company. I think I have a position for you. Really? A am I gonna be a store manager? No, we're actually bringing you to the corporate division of the company. You'll be working at the home office. Whole office? Oh my yeah, gosh. Yeah, exactly. And with this new promotion, you're gonna be getting a huge raise as well. Congratulations. Oh my gosh, wow. Well, thank you so much, Mr. Wilson. And thanks, Samantha. This is an incredible opportunity. Well, you deserve it, Jerry. Congratulations. All right, today's the first day. You can do this, Jerry. Mr. Wilson, good morning. Oh, hey, Jerry, good morning. Welcome to the home office. I want to introduce you to somebody. Meet your new business partner. What the? Katie? Oh my gosh, what are you doing here? I just got promoted. What are you doing? Well, let's see. I took all of Thomas's money, broke up with him, and then I bought myself into this company. Now we can work together. Isn't that great? He's got some great ideas for the business, and I want you to take a listen to them. Partnering with Katie is not going to help the company. She's just doing this all for herself. What? No way. I have lots of great ideas. Plus, Jerry, Katie gave me a lot of money to join this company, and I could not refuse. You two uh, clearly have some history together, but you got to work through it. Business comes first. Katie, what are you up to? You're never going to get rid of me, Jerry. Just face it. <sighs> Whatever. Let's just work together and get this done. So, Carmen, what do you think? Oh, my gosh. This place is amazing. I know, right? I never thought I'd be able to afford a place like this. Climbing the ladder has really paid off. I'm so impressed, and I really am proud of you, Jerry. Thanks, Carmen, and I've got to say, I need to thank you, too. Thank me? For what? Well, you've always been there for me, been by my side, and supported me. I might be able to do this on my own, but it's a whole lot easier when the people I care about are there for me. Yeah, I totally know what you mean. Yo, does anybody have any spare change? Please, I, I could use some money. Wait a minute. Thomas? Jerry? What are you doing in this neighborhood? Thought only rich people lived here. Yeah, well, I just bought this house. What are you doing? Katie took everything from me. Took all my money and broke up with me, and now I'm homeless, man. Feels really weird saying this, but I'm really sorry, dude. Yeah, man, is there anything you could do to help? Like, spare some extra food or change or something? Thomas, do you even know what you did to me? What I did? Yeah, dude, you broke our friendship. You went behind my back and started dating my girlfriend. Look, that might have not been the smartest thing I ever did, okay? I'm sorry. You forgive me? Look, I want to mend our friendship, and I do miss you. You were my best friend. I don't know if I can forgive you so easily. I, I get it, dude. I just want to be friends, that's all. Yeah, I do too. Why don't you come inside and get cleaned up and order some burgers or something? Wait, really? That'd be so awesome. Thank you. Oh, man. Super late night at work. I cannot wait to get home. Well, there you are. It's about time. Katie, 
What's going on? What are you doing here? I wanted to apologize for everything that I've done to you. All right. I broke up with Thomas, and I want to get back together with you. I hate to say it to you, Katie, but I'm not interested. What? What do you mean? I'm not interested in getting back together with you. I don't want to date you at all. I'm with Carmen now. You're with her? I'm way prettier and funnier than she ever will be. Plus, I'm rich, and she's not. I don't care if Carmen's rich or not. She's a great person, and I love her. Yeah, but she'll never love you the way I love you. You don't love me at all. Are you insane right now? Ah! What are you doing? Gosh, Katie, stop! No, this is not. Katie, you are crazy! Whoa, whoa! Now there's a fire! Oh man! It's only the beginning. You're gonna regret not getting back together with me, Jerry. Hi, Jerry. Can I get your help with something? Sorry, Katie. Can't help. I'm really busy right now. Do you not hear me? I need your help. Absolutely not. Why don't you go ask somebody else? No, I asked you to help me, so I need you to help me right now. Fine, let's just get this over with. So what do you need help with? Oh, oh my gosh! See, the computer's on fire! Oh my gosh, we need to put this out? Where are the smoke alarms? <sighs> all right, everybody. Hey, hey, what's going on in here? What's all the commotion? Oh my gosh, Mr. Wilson, Jerry is trying to destroy my office. Jerry, I can't believe you would do something like that. Sir, that's not true at all. I just got here and her computer was on fire. She probably said it herself. What? No, I didn't. It was all you. Right, I'm not playing the blame game, okay? We're all adults working in a corporate office. Let's be professional. Sir, I'm trying. But this is... You know, I've had enough of all of this. Jerry, just get out, okay? What? Get out of this office. I don't even want to look at you right now. <laughs> I told you you would regret this. What is her cell phone number? I want to give her a piece of my mind right now. Uh, I don't think that'd be a really good idea. Katie's uh, kind of crazy. Katie's not worth it, okay? I don't want to see you getting upset over this. How can I not get upset about this? She's sabotaging my boyfriend. This is personal. Katie is totally out of control. I can't believe you lost your job over this. It's not a big deal. I can always get another job. I'm not going to let Katie bring me down to her level. It's just wrong, Jerry. It's not fair. I know it's not fair, but I'll be honest, I've been starting to think about leaving that company anyways. Whoa, really? Really? Dude? What were you wanting to do? I might start my own phone company. I mean, I've learned a whole lot over these past couple of years, and I think it's something I could really do on my own. I believe you can do it. You can do anything. Yeah, dude, I agree with Carmen. And if you need help, I got your back. I might be broke, but I still know a whole lot of rich people. Oh, thanks, Thomas. I really appreciate that, dude. Come yeah, on. I mean, what else are friends for? Oh, man, I'm glad to have you back. Once again, I want to thank everybody for showing up to the grand opening of my new phone store. I really, really appreciate this. I want my phones to change the world for the better. Hey, wait, what? What's going on? Seriously, Katie, you wanted to destroy my new business? Yeah, Jerry, you are nothing. Oh, you're the worst. You know, Katie, when I was with you, I used to think I was nobody. Thanks to you, I've turned myself into somebody important. All right, officer, I'm done. Take her away. 